no one has the bravery to bring it up, it seems. This mysterious flying object. I thought he was going to say, no one has the bravery to bring up how shitty this drug is. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. Larry. Listen, I'm okay. Uh, I'm okay with whipping him, but I'm not going to crush his dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I'll crush his balls, but not his dreams. <laughs> but not his hopes. <laughs> Larry. What? The burning bridge is fine. But what is that unfortunate looking figure? <laughs> ah, you spotted that. I thought you might. However much I want to ignore it, I can't. It's Iris, of course. Iris. What? I wish she'd take better care of herself. We have to plan her for our future, you know? Uh, God, that's so crazy. What would have happened like to her if she had injured herself flying like that? Larry. <laughs> Larry, please. Answer <laughs> this question this next question honestly. Okay. Are you really <laughs> claiming to have seen this? Are you a fucking idiot? <laughs> Are you claiming to have seen the silhouette of the defendant flying over a bridge that was engulfed in flames? Yep, that's what I saw. Also, like, did you not stop her? Or, like... That's why I drew it. I'm an artist. A real artist. I'm a real artist. Are uh, you... Hi? <laughs> Wait, what? Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, what Whoa. kind of... I did that's, so... that's, that's really good. That's a good bit, yeah. Did that's somebody really test good. the witness before he came in for drugs? These edibles ain't shit. <laughs> Actually, Holy that's shit. a good question. Is, is weed illegal in uh, Canada? Not sure about that one. I imagine it is. They seem like they Canadians, would be cool. Canadians but... are high all the time. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, Canadians, the chat sound off. Are you high right now? <laughs> the the girl. She's really high up in this picture. I gotta uh... click. <laughs> What was that for? This is all a bad dream. <laughs> I was hitting on the cheek to test. So Please whip your own cheek from now on if you'd like to test your wild theories. <sighs> anyway, no court of law will ever acknowledge that p p people can fly. Actually, there is some precedent for this. <laughs> so... <laughs> Funny story. So, hear me out on this. Do you have you ever been to the circus before? <laughs> have you ever been to the circus? <laughs> she was flying pretty high, my sweet Iris. I do like when the game like has something wild happen in the case, and then they bring it up again. They're like, "This is fucking impossible," and they're like, "Well, no, it's not because we did this one already, but uh -huh. <laughs> it's different this time, so we got to figure out why." Uh huh. Dang it! This is this is. They're just bringing back Max Galactica. He did it. It was him the whole time. <laughs> she was about thirty feet above the bridge, at least. It was really something to see. Th this has to be some kind of m mistake, Mister Edgeworth. Please bring the witness back down to earth. What? Me? This witness is your friend, is he not? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> Accessory to foolishness, Miles Edgeworth. Am I going to be charged with that? <laughs> it's a capital punishment. Let's the get... Pu <laughs> Let us get back to the cross-examination. By force, if necessary. Mr. Edgeworth, I expect you to expose the obvious contradiction here. Yes, Your Honor. Looks like I've got another reason to remember this moron. <laughs> well, 
What do you think of my debut piece? Get that thing away from me. <laughs> 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 Fucking Do you want to hang it? Do you want to? Can I hang it on the judges' stand? <laughs> Will you put it on your you put it on your fridge? <laughs> Bailiff, remove it from the fridge. Don't <laughs> Bailiff get, get that magnet away from him. Now get that thing out of here or so help me. <laughs> so help me. Now hurry up and cross examine him. So we should get a new thing, right? Oh yeah, I saw Iris flying, her white hood was fluttering. Oh, that's easy. Okay, she didn't have the white hood. Yeah. Gave it to uh, gave it to Phoenix. Objection. That's right. Larry, what did you really see that night? Wait, wait. Did, <laughs> did he confuse Phoenix with her because he had the hood on? But he spoke to Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, are you good, man? Yeah, I wanted to see someone fly over the bridge, so I chucked Phoenix over the bridge. <laughs> Larry, I didn't realize you had that kind of power. <laughs> yeah, I just had to go Ultra Instinct. Oh no! Someone tried to I... snowmo Someone tried to snowmobile jump across the bridge. That'd be fucking awesome. Oh, sick, like in an '80s movie. Not that I particularly care. Or like any given Fast and Furious movie. <laughs> In your position, that's just being irresponsible. Or like the video game Arctic Thunder. Yo, I fucking love Arctic Thunder. It's good as shit. The arcade cabinets with the fans blowing in your face. Yeah, Fucking dude. cool as shit. Fucking cool as so, shit. Uh, it's cool in more ways than one. It's not nearly I as right? good as Hydro Thunder, but it's still a great arcade cabinet. Anyways. Did Hydro Thunder have the fans? It did not. Yeah, see, then it's not as cool. It's just a better like a better game. Anyways. <laughs> Hydro Thunder. Arctic Thunder. Rad Hazard. The fucking I can hear the announcers saying the names of all the fucking boats you can play. Uh, this isn't important. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the fucking like <laughs> when you like run through a checkpoint. Yeah. Checkpoint. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I I drew exactly what I saw. I'll give you a whole dollar. That's the, that it's the truth. <sighs> if that is truly the case. Could you give me $34, you son of a bitch? <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> then there is one thing that we can say for certain. What might that be? That the person who flew over the bridge... Could not have been the defendant, Iris. What? What do you mean? I don't understand. What? A foolhardy, fooly, a foolhardy folly of a foolish statement by an equally foolishly foolhardy fool. Oh, I forgot that was your bit, Francisco. Yep. <laughs> How exactly can you make this claim? Tell us, Larry. According to this picture. The individual whom you say you saw wearing a hood. The individual whom you saw you whom you say you saw was wearing a hood, correct? Of course she was. That rundown shack is quite away from the bridge. The hood is what told me that this floating angel was my Iris. The hood is my darling Iris, and Iris is my darling hood. What are you even saying now? What? It seems there are bigger fools in this world than the one at the, defense, at the defense's bench. Larry, there's something you need to be made aware of. On the night of the murder, Iris wasn't wearing her hood. She had given it to Wright as a gift. Are you going to change your story now? Perhaps suggest it was Wright who took flight. Ah. What are you talking about? I think you understand what I mean just fine. Why? Why did Nick have Iris's hood? Oh my god. Huh? Edgy, what's going on with Iris and Nick? 
Why, you Nick, you dog. You dog. Oh, Nick, you dog. <laughs> <laughs> I do believe that this unbelievably mysterious sketch is destined to disappear discredited and discarded straight into the garbage. Damn, man. <clears throat> Even if it's not good evidence, you're gonna throw away his artwork. <laughs> 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 What is it now, witness? It's a fucking evil laugh from Larry. <laughs> I know, right? What? It feels like I've been waiting 25 years for this very day to come. Literally, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Edgy, today is the day I get to completely stupefy you. Also, isn't Larry like only 25 years old total? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so he's literally been waiting for this day since his birth? Yes. What I what I do appreciate is every time it seems like he's gonna go evil, Francisca whips him. And <laughs> I know, just smacks him. What? What is the meaning of your outburst, witness? I hate to have to do this, but I have some definitive evidence. Definitive evidence? Iris did indeed come flying over the burning bridge. And I, Larice Donim, shall prove it. Okay. Uh, I didn't expect to ask this again, but we shall be needing your testimony once again. Tell us anything you know concerning the defendant as depicted in this sketch. And show us your evidence that this nightmare was actually a reality. Okay, I hope you're ready, Edgy. Because I'm gonna feed you a whopping serving of pain! Mary, you literally could not fight your way out of a wet paper bag. <laughs> You've been serving us a whopping serving of pain this whole time. Trust me. <laughs> Poof Proof. that iris flew, Jesus Christ. God damn it. <laughs> When I reached Dusky Bridge, she was already gone. I was so worried, so I, I frantically searched all over for her. That led me to finding a beautiful crystal sphere half buried in the snow. Okay. That's important. Yeah? I'm sure that Iris was simply wearing a spare hood. Again, we already covered that can't be the case. After all, no one else could have lost a crystal sphere that night. You fucking dummy. A uh, crystal sphere. This one. Pretty, isn't it? But find Oh my papers. god. Yeah, it's covered in blood. <laughs> Larry, there's blood on that. <laughs> no, it's Crimson Lake. <laughs> I, yeah. Oh, shit. Good, <laughs> good joke, Zach. Larry's like, no, I just spilled paint on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. That sphere. Where did you find it? And fucking Godot comes in. He's like, what are you talking about? What fucking blood? <laughs> uh, pa Pantran, does, Pantran does raise an interesting point. Pridge, uh, what <laughs> amendment is Finders Keepers under? Just so that the folks at home have a little a little bit of fact. Is that, is that a real thing? With uh... um, What you're looking at is the difference between uh, lost and abandoned property. Oh, uh, okay. didn't expect you to have a real answer for that. That's good. <laughs> Um, properties that law property that is lost means that the person who the original owner did not mean to lose it, mm -hmm. which means they still have possession rights over it. So if you find it, you cannot keep it because it's simply lost and it needs to go mm -hmm. back. If you keep it, you'd be stealing. Um, but if it's abandoned property and thus the owner uh, relinquished possession rights to it and you find it, then yeah, you can keep that. That's fine, just keepers. But Bridge, I had heard that losers are weepers. Yeah, where's the losers weepers clause? <laughs> are you legally obligated to weep if you lose, if you lose. something? 
<laughs> if you don't cry, then uh, it means you, you didn't get want sent it to enough. jail. <laughs> you must God cry, damn. or else you will face criminal penalties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, now I know this isn't the case, but this uh, it seems like by that logic, if you're a criminal and you abandon the murder weapon, in this case, the sphere. You're legally allowed to just pick it up and you can take it because the criminal didn't want that anymore. <laughs> they were like, yeah, fuck this. I don't need this. I mean, it's true until it becomes necessary for a trial, which mm. case the police are going to take it as evidence. Mm -hmm. Ah, dang it. Dang police. Um, Always getting in the way. That sphere. Where did you find it? Let me see. Uh around here somewhere yeah it looks about right and it was half buried in the snow it had pretty much stopped snowing by then but there was still some falling as i walked to the bridge hmm the court accepts this crystal sphere <laughs> that's mine okay i want it back afterward well that's actually pretty relevant to the conversation we had then <laughs> There's something on it, isn't there? Oh my, it's a blood stain. What? A blood stain? You ready, Edgy? By tomorrow morning, you'll be calling me Master Larry. Ew. I'd rather die. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. will jump. I will jump off Dusty Bridge if, I, <laughs> if that were to ever happen, Larry. <laughs> yeah, I like the sound of that. No one's gonna push me around anymore. Didn't you want to be called Larice Donim only a few minutes ago? Uh, description is already gone. We're going to search for all over that Lamita finding a beautiful crystal. I'm sure that Iris is simply wearing a spare hood. After all, no one else could have lost a crystal sphere that night. I mean, I feel like it's just the fucking picture. Yeah. That explicitly yeah. shows. Oh, well, yeah. It, it, it's, it could be the, yeah, that's the, yeah, just do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Get fucked, Larry. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> <clears throat> Larry, <laughs> that night, there was someone. Someone who lost a crystal sphere. Th there was? Who was this stupid idiot? She's dead, Larry. Yeah, what the Show fuck? Show some respect. <laughs> Miss Alisto Nim, the mentor to a stupid idiot. <laughs> The victim. I have a photo of her here. Yeah, Larry, you took that you picture. You took the fucking picture, you <laughs> Larry, idiot. You, you were hanging out with her for, like, weeks. <laughs> you gave us the picture. <laughs> wow. You stole your last name from her. <laughs> Which also, kind of weird, honestly. Not gonna, not gonna lie, Larry. Kind of cringe, bro. <laughs> Very cringe, bro. <laughs> and on the end of her staff, you can see a familiar-looking crystal sphere. Larry, you're definitely cringe-pilled, bro. <laughs> hey. That's my photograph. Get it back. <laughs> Ouch. A crystal sphere like that is quite easy to find. Is it? I have like I have one just like it on my brooch. That's not quite the same, and you fucking know that, okay? <laughs> Francisca, come on. <laughs> they look nothing alike. <clears throat> In any case, please take a look at this. This is the victim's staff found at the scene of the crime. Ah, the crystal sphere. It's gone. <laughs> Just, what does this mean? If 
anyone jumped or flew, or flew across the bridge that night. It certainly was not Iris. After all, she was not wearing her hood. More importantly, the crystal sphere found at the landing site was not hers either. That means the one who flew and dropped the sphere was the victim Miss Olisto Nim? A fool alongside another fool on a fool's errand to reach a foolish conclusion. First of all, this sketch, which I prefer to call a scribble, is ridiculous. <laughs> the necessity of saying that. People cannot fly. Thus, it is rejected. Y you can't do that! I saw it with my own eyes! And this crystal sphere. This is nothing more than a red herring. No, it's a crystal sphere, you dumbass. <laughs> That's right. That's Queen Dumbass to you. Yeah. Yeah, we bring out the Dumbass Jones. Yeah. You honestly believe that? Give it some thought. I'm sure you'll realize it as well, Miles Edgeworth. Elise Stoney was in her room on the night of the murder. There was no reason for her to go to Dusky Bridge. Therefore, this sphere cannot be related to this case. Oh, come on, That's Francesca! Gone. Yeah. It's got blood on it! Miss Francisca von Karma. The only people who will accept that explanation are scatterbrains and clowns. Ooh, did somebody geez. say my name? God damn it. No, we did not. We did not. What about the what about the Clussy? <laughs> oh shit, Bridge knows it too! Oh no! <laughs> Bridge! Bridge, do you you've opened up Pandora's Clussy. I God. God. <laughs> Why are you pointing at me? The victim's crystal sphere was found near the bridge on the night of her murder. Yet you expect us to believe this has nothing to do with the case? Objection. That crystal sphere... It was probably thrown away at the bridge after the murder. After the murder? There is blood on the crystal sphere, isn't there? This naturally suggests that it was thrown away after the murder took place. The killer placed it there to throw the investigation off the scent. The same reason that he drew that ridiculous sketch. What? You mean... I'm the killer? No, wow! Enough joking. Just when did this crystal sphere appear near the root of the bridge, the foot of the bridge? Unless this can be proven in some way, I refuse to believe this is related to the case. She makes a valid point. There is no evidence that Elisto Nim left Hazakura Temple that night. However, if somehow this crystal sphere can be proven to have been dropped before the victim was killed, then this case is going to transform into something else entirely. A gobot. <clears throat> your response, Mr. Edgeworth. I want your final opinion on the disposition of this crystal sphere. I thought for a second it was disappearance and I was like, wait, no, I read it right. Uh, if it is not related to the case, then this witness who you called will have been nothing more than a monumental waste of time. Well, well I mean, it's still a waste of time, but... <laughs> Prepare yourself for some very appropriate punishment, Miles Edgeworth. Can I prove it? Can I prove that the crystal sphere was dropped before the murder took place? Uh, that's the hard part because it's covered in blood which would make me think it was after the murder took place 
Yeah. Um. Found half covered in. Oh, it's about the snow. Uh. Oh. Because the murder, the murder took place at a certain time. Yeah, yeah, the snow stopped. Covered... Yeah. Okay. Oh. Good thinking. I mean. Okay. It's interesting because the... yeah, yeah, whatever. <clears throat> Can I prove it? Yeah, this isn't the issue. The issue is I have to prove it. <laughs> this, to simply Whoa. prove it, that's the only option. That's what he'd do. Jesus. I mean, that's the way <laughs> Phoenix Wright would do this, I guess. <laughs> Your Honor, allow me to prove something to you. <clears throat> I will prove that this crystal sphere is a vital link to solving this case. You will do what? That look in your eyes. You remind me of Phoenix Wright when he is cornered. Um, that should come as no surprise. Francisca, did you ever corner me? Or ever <laughs> beat me in a case even? <laughs> because right now... I am Phoenix Wright, <laughs> and I am indeed cornered. I'm shitting and farting right now. <laughs> In just, fact, I have I have to do just what he would do: <laughs> shid and fard. I have to do just what he would do: hope that my mentor possesses my assistant's body and gives me the answer. Wait a minute! I don't have one of those. I don't have a teenage assistant. Shit! Oh, fuck. <laughs> what if what if fucking Pearl or Maya was here and all of a sudden they transformed into Von Karma and were like Miles? <laughs> you need to look at this from another direction. I, even better, one what, what versus Dad. Ooh, that would be cool. Oh. Cool. Hey there, sport. <laughs> Sorry for dying in that elevator. <laughs> Good news is you, I, you didn't I, shoot I me. You, I hope you haven't been traumatized by earthquakes forever. <laughs> What's shaking? Oh. oh, sorry. A bad, bad phrase there. Uh, my bad, kiddo. <laughs> <laughs> also, this is how you win this case. <sighs> I order you to present your evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. Evidence that proves the crystal sphere was indeed dropped before the murder. Uh, okay, so, so you're running on the, the you're running on the, you think it's the snow. Weather reports? Half what covered time, in what snow. What time was the what time was the murder? Uh, autopsy report says from between ten to eleven. Okay, um, and then what weather time report. Did... Yeah. The weather stopped from ten to or, or until ten fifty was when the weather stopped. The snow stopped. Okay. Then. So if it was dropped. Hmm. I mean, there's also no snow on her body. Oh. I mean, I feel like that's it. There's no snow on her body, but there is on the. Oh no! Wait, that yeah. was that was after. So that doesn't make sense, does it? <laughs> yeah, but if it was dropped afterwards, then there wouldn't be that. There would not. Oh, there would also not be snow on the, on the orb. Because if, if the orb was discarded afterwards, mm -hmm. then there, there shouldn't be. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's try it. I don't know if this is what they want. It was. Wow, shit. Yeah. I think you could have presented the sphere, too. Hmm. This crystal sphere, it was half buried in the snow, correct? That's right. If it hadn't stopped snowing, then it would have been game over. What? The snow would have totally covered it. That's all I needed to hear from you, Larry. <laughs> Your testimony makes one thing quite clear. What? When the crystal sphere was dropped, it was snowing, even if it was ever so slightly. Snowing? On the other hand, let us look at the scene of the murder. As proven earlier today, there is no snow on the victim's body. Ah! Therefore, 
The crystal sphere must have been dropped before the murder. Wh what? Order! 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 On the night of the murder, the victim did indeed go to Dusky Bridge. And there, something occurred that caused this crystal sphere to come loose. What? What could that have been? This sphere. There is some blood on it, isn't there? Allow me to raise a certain possibility at this junction. The real crime scene was near the foot of Dusky Bridge. Objection! The murder didn't take place in the Hazakura Temple Courtyard. Only a fool would suggest such a foolish piece of absolute foolishness. Just who is the fool? In which part is so foolish, Miss Von Karma? <laughs> Have you been paying any attention this whole time, Miles Edgeworth? The sister saw everything. She saw the victim being killed by the defendant in the Hazakura Temple Courtyard. That's not... we already proved that. That's not exactly true, now is it? To put it more precisely, what she saw was... the murder weapon being removed from the victim's body. That's the same thing. It's oh, definitely not. No, it isn't. <laughs> no, you. You said it yourself. Very little blood is actually lost. At the moment of a blade's insertion. If you want to talk about the most blood, about when the most blood would be lost from a body, that would be when the blade is removed. If that statement is the truth, wow, it's actually a helpful flashback. Yeah. That's like ah, one of the first times ah. flashback has been helpful. There's a, there's a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> then Dusky Bridge could very easily be the scene of the murder. The murder weapon was not removed, thus there was no bleeding. Objection. You are forgetting one vital thing, Miles Edgeworth. Elise Stonim's body was found in Hazakura Temple. On foot, it takes 15 minutes to travel from Dusky Bridge to Hazakura Temple. You mean to suggest someone carried the body all that way? I've made it this far. The only place to take this is to the end. I just need to prove the possibility it happened as I presume. Now, if the defense is ready, the court would like to have an explanation. Please show us the method by which the victim's body was carried to Hazakura Temple. Um, I mean, I feel like the trap is the fucking, uh, what do you call it? The tracks, but... Yeah, I was gonna say, ask me the snowmobile. Yeah. But, I mean, that's the only, it's the only answer, right? We don't have, we don't have a snowmobile, right? The, the snowmobile itself isn't a piece of evidence. I'm assuming we're yeah. going to have to read this yeah. picture. Then mm. I do that. Yeah, do that. Take that! Take that! On that snowy night, there is, a, there is one way that a body could have been moved. The snowmobile. Ah. As we know, the snowmobile was used that night. It was explained as having been used to dispose of the murder weapon. But it could also have been used to carry a body. Order! Order! Gah! This... This is completely unacceptable, Miles Edgeworth! You've dug yourself into your own grave. What do you mean? The only one who could have used the snowmobile was the defendant. She's the one who moves the body. Doesn't that put the final nail in your coffin? Nah. <laughs> yes. Damn it, you're right. Shit. <laughs> Shit. You're, you're too late, <laughs> Francisca von Karma. Looks like I was the best prosecutor after all. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I found them guilty before you did, <laughs> so I win. Still, still second rate. Still s sitting in your brother's shadow, aren't you, Franziska? And in fact, the damn, I'm is good. Something else entirely. It'll be years before you can face me. We have we'll shown. Probably need to apologize to Phoenix though for getting Iris found. <laughs> uh, he probably won't maybe, appreciate that. Mm, maybe, maybe some edible arrangements. I think a <laughs> podcast I listen to has a has a, Q, <laughs> a code I can enter for ten percent off. God damn it! I wish we had a code right now what? we could drop. <laughs> damn. What Let's get an edible does, arrangement. What fruits does Phoenix like? <laughs> I think Maya would know. Oh, I hope she's doing okay. I, I, hope we, <laughs> I think Edible Arrangements has a jaw-droppingly large strawberry. Uh, listen, they're not paying us. We don't have to. <laughs> we have shown that this case requires further investigation. What? Where God, I feel so dirty doing this trick. <laughs> Where was victim Elise Donim really killed? If her body was moved, whatever for? And finally, where in the world is Carmen, Carmen San, Diego? San Diego? Very good, very good. Just what does this image mean? <laughs> What? She just breaks it in half. Yeah, she like, whips the paper in half. That was a vital piece of evidence. Do you even need to think about that? Such a creature could never see the truth, let alone describe it. <laughs> Wait, I don't actually have an objection to that. That is infallibly true. Oh. This witness certainly sits on one of the lowest possible branches of humanity. Jesus God! Woo! He might even be the, the missing link. <laughs> that's a powerful disc right there. <laughs> that is. That's really good. I want to even use that one. You sit on the lowest branches of humanity. <laughs> However, he would never utter a lie that could hurt a girl with whom he is enamored. Uh-huh. He drew this, so it is something that actually happened. The defense stands firm on this point. Edgy, thank you. Ugh, don't, don't do that. Shut up, Larry. That settles it, then. I cannot give a verdict under these circumstances. <laughs> Right. I seem to have fulfilled my part in this. I'm going back on vacation. For <laughs> I'm leaving the country again. <laughs> it is just as I thought. Francisca von Karma, you make a wonderful partner. <laughs> all of our greatest attorney fans are like, partner! <laughs> they're all triggered. Triggered they're, by they're the phrase partner. Partnered. Excuse me? There is one reason and one alone for me being here. To expose the darkness lurking in this case, and then pass it on to right. Because I really couldn't care less. I, I just don't give a shit. <laughs> really? That's what this is, was all about? You could have just told me that from the very beginning. I wouldn't have had Franzi whipping me all the day. Hey, ouch! Miles Edgeworth. I don't care about what you were here to do. This was my chance to finally grind you under my heel. A shame that your chance seemed to have slipped by you. What a shame, Franzi! <laughs> this is all your fault! Such a terrible witness. You are an affront to all things, Lila. <laughs> I demand satisfaction! <laughs> I.
cannot believe that the witness's testimony relates to an actual event. However, there has to be some sort of answer for the question it raises. Have his words here today been truth or lies? Next time we gather in this courtroom, those are the matters that shall be addressed. I'm counting on thorough investigation by both the defense and the prosecution. And with this, I'm outie. <laughs> the rest is up to you, right? I'm going back on vacation. <laughs> Court is now adjourned. <laughs> hey! Look at that, we did it. Yeah, we ended at 9... We're done at 9.30? I know, it's crazy. What is this? This isn't an Ace Attorney stream. Hashtag not my Ace Attorney. <laughs> Folks, that is going to do it for another week's episode of Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. Again, if you like this, you can catch it live on twitch.tv slash save data team. Uh, we had a plenty of new people in the chat tonight, and we really appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, and if you want to support us, head over to patreon.com slash save data team. Throw us a couple bucks there. Maybe get your name in the Patreon uh, song in the intro. But until next time, court is adjourned. Man for Von Karma is Timmy. Turner, wow, is that so is so good. Inspi inspired work. It's so good. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, Elijah with Francisca reads the sacred text. Art I commissioned from Lottie and Luno. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the thesaurus. Get a thesaurus. That's so good. <laughs> uh, Soapy, hi gamers, as well as regularly scheduled Bridge Big Adventure. I've also watched all of GAC. There's only one person who could have been wearing a hood that night, and it wasn't the victim or Iris. But no matter how much we get Larry to testify, he's just lying about everything he saw for some reason. He just keeps talking about the crystal sphere, which could belong to just about anyone. There's no way he's going to tell the truth. If you don't tell the truth, you're cringe. Yeah, okay, I'll tell the truth. Also fitting that you drew this before we made the jokes about Larry being cringe. Larry being cringe. Being cringe. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, it tracks pretty hard, but still. Uh, Lil Waves, this is the dialogue uh, you get if you press Bikini's first statement about taking a bath. Well, said you guys didn't press for it. I blame chat for this oversight. I wanted to draw it so the boys can still react to it. How long were you in the bath for, if you don't mind me asking? My, 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 what a filthy little rogue you are. I know what's on your mind. I bet your next question is going to be, what exactly did you watch? Oh, ah, this is why you have to watch the young ones. <laughs> what are you going on about? I was... Ah! Pathetic, Miles Edgeworth. The lowest of the low. Is there some sort of kick me sign stuck in the defense's <laughs> bench? Uh, thank you. This is super cute. And uh, thank you for, for getting us to, to read this because this is really funny dialogue. Also, your art style is cute. So thank you, Louise. Yen, yay. Thank you for more content. A comic inspired by y'all's jokes about how Miles can't bring himself to call his ch clients innocent and me asking why we weren't looking, why we aren't looking for Pearl. <laughs> uh, also, this uh, is incredible. Bridge, bridge we need this. I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so good. <laughs> Classic. Uh, Crazy Legoid, this is this took hey. way too long to make and even longer to post. Uh, Saved it as virtual kitchen experience with Pridge as the pizza chef. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, Miss Mischief, I don't have any comics. Sorry, I've been demotivated lately, but I have, I have a few whips. Uh, these are super cute, though. Yeah. Catch got your tongue feeling right. And this adorable Maya having some boba uh, tea with a costume redesign. Fucking great. Dang. Really your, cute. Your characters are so cute. Mm -hmm. I love Yeah, I really I like how you draw Francisca. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chrissy might be a stupid question, but how do Gant's glasses stay on his face without those side frame thingies? <laughs> 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 My God! What is this fool blabbering about? Oh, <clears throat> oh shit! Sorry, my bad. <laughs> I love this. I cute... like. I like the idea that he has like latent eyes underneath yeah. <laughs> his, his glasses fall off. 
gumshoe and shoms in an ice cream cone with a cherry on top? Yeah, that's really that's cute. Really cute. <laughs> and Maya with the big Borgor. Borgor. Which is very, very cute. Borgor. Yeah, these are adorable. Thank you, Mia. Yeah, those are awesome. I love these. <laughs> Dorky, because Yo, the, this is awesome. The revelation hit me that Gant was young in his seventies, so I had to make custom sprites with disco vibes. These are these are incredible. These are man. really they, cool. Dude, can you imagine Gant just tearing up the disco floor? Oh, dude was fucking wild with it. Dude, no, dude, yeah, dude, man. Didn't even, just tear up the word wild. Dude was fucking. <laughs> oh my yeah, god. Man. Dude, like, he absolutely just fucking his way through the 70s. Mm -hmm. I've, I've always felt this way, but this makes me feel this way even more. Gant is one of those characters that, like, even though Fox. he's the villain, you still kind of like it. He's still kind of oh, yeah. cool. I, I like Gant. I like Gant. Uh, Tiktaako, in honor of Pritch's return from Italy, here's a Pearl comic. Mystic Maya! There you are, Pearly. What happened? You were gone for days. We were so worried. I got lost on my way back to Karain Village, and then I ended up in this in this weird place. There was a town with boats and a place covered in ash, and there was a huge arena. Then there was this wonky-looking tower, and a city with statues of naked people, and a bunch of people called Pointy Vecchio. I, I saw this man who looked like a lawyer, and he told me how to get home. Pearl? What are you? Did you have naked people in a bridge? People called Pointy Vecchio? Uh, it's the Ponte Vecchio. It's a bridge. It's a bridge in Florence. Oh, I was, bridge! I was, I was there. Bridge! I, was, I, was, I, was, I visited the Ponte Vecchio. Yo, that's really good. James in this bunny Sherlock, which is doing it for me. Uh, and uh, another sh new smoking Sherlock. We, we, we all love a good bunny outfit. Mm -hmm, let's be real here. Mm -hmm. if, is... if Dragon Quest has taught me anything. <laughs> That's what Dragon Quest has taught you? Uh... Yeah, the bunny girls are hot. Okay. Yeah! Yeah, thank you for understanding the assignment from last week. The fucking rules card and lot of heart swap. It's fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, welcome back, as Chris. As soon as I said it. Did you steal from Italy? Take earn from Italy? <laughs> Did you earn that <laughs> pizza from Italy? <laughs> Corona Wizard been holding on to this for two weeks, but here's a little comic based on that one Von Karma bit from Case 4 featuring some fun cameos. Miss Fay, no one on the face of the planet is perfect. Bah, insolent brat. He's forgotten our creed. This is why he isn't worthy of the Von Karma name. Not worthy. Yes, indeed. Quite true. You know what they say. To err is human, to forgive divine. Do you hear that, Papa? Does that mean you are not human? Of course not. I am the god of perfection. <laughs> oh, my Papa is a god. <laughs> Quit socializing with the commoners, Francisca. <laughs> Whoa, my sis is a lawyer. <laughs> I don't care. Aww. Aww. <laughs> That's cute, though. <laughs> uh, Colonel Wizard did confirm that was, that was Canadian judge. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, spy family this, this crossover? Really... Yo. I still need to see Spy Family. It's so good. Holy shit. This fucking yeah, kicks awesome. ass. Yeah, it's dope. Bridge, you love Spy Family, right? Oh, it's fantastic, yeah. yeah. This is fucking awesome. Beb, starting off with Modern Gak. Uh, Modern Gak with uh, ja the... What am I trying to say? Modern Gak with the Japanese characters. These are so good. Yeah. Also, fucking Professor Mikotova in the fucking suit is clean. Yeah. And Yume University. Kazuma, Kazuma in a letter jacket. It's, it's 10 out of 10. It's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Supri's Games, I did see this earlier. This is fucking amazing. Uh, the depiction of the attack of Adam Arsenis in Flame and the return of the Obra Dinn style. I wanted to make it two colors, but I gave it halfway. I was going to say, I watched this. Hey, it doesn't, it's not I gotta playing. run. What? Are you sure? Yeah. It's playing for me. Oh, it was made in dreams too. Yo. I think I have to download it or something. Oh, wow. I didn't hear this with the music before, 
but I looked at it and genuinely was like, this is this is 100% Obra Dinn vibes. And holy shit, you fucking nailed this. Oh, wow. It's so good. Fuck. What a good deep cut. And like, you, you nailed it so well. And the cool art style, like... Fucking pour one out for flame. Wow, whoa. It's so good. I wish I wish I got more into dreams. Um This is so good. What do you Soupy's mean? You games. played Sonic Dreams collection? <laughs> That's true. Soupy's games, this is fucking awesome. Uh, wow. Thank you for submitting thank you, that. Thank you for doing this. Yeah. Holy shit. Absolutely incredible. Last but not least, Ben, welcome back, Bridge. I'm glad Phoenix got to be sick with the rest of us. <laughs> right? I bought you one more day. At least. Edgeworth, how did it go? I can't believe what you put up with on a daily basis. It helps that it, it helps that it usually takes me a few months to find a new client. Hey, be more careful. That's my attorney's badge, you know. I never want to touch that wretched thing again. <laughs> Larry is by far the worst witness I've ever encountered. It took all of my strength as a man to restrain myself from physically assaulting him. Well, when something smells and all that, well, I'm glad I can take care. I'm, I'm glad I can take care of this after you sorted out everything Larry said. Well, the main mystery we have yet to solve is how Larry saw our victim flying over the sea of flames. Oh, <laughs> I think I'm getting sick again. Nice try, right? <laughs> Fourth a try. That's really good. That's also, That's huge awesome. shout out to you sneaking a picture of Wes in the fucking painting in the background. Oh, wow. I just noticed that's that. Amazing, yeah. Actually. yeah, that's really, wow. that's a really good cut. Uh, yeah. I did see true. that that's, and I was waiting to call it out. From so the, good. That's me from the wiki. Mm hmm. <laughs> And me from the ads for the save data shirt. Exactly, exactly. Again, uh, Incredible. what is it called? Fucking Etsy.com slash shop slash save data team. Get yourself an anytime Ohio shirt. 